Hi, this is Gerald Salenti. It's Thursday, July 30th, 2020. And here are some of today's trends in the news. On the market front, well, it was mixed over there in Asia. But whoo, down, down, down in Europe. Yeah, 2 3% across the board. How come? Well, because uh, the um, GDP in America fell eh, just 32.9%. Eh, not a big deal, right? Hey, it's going to bounce back. It's going to bounce back. A V-shaped recovery. Remember that one? You know what that is. You got it. So, gold. Eh, it's still doing good. It's at 1956. We had silver go down a little bit, but still hanging in that $23 an ounce mark. And you know my forecasts. Where they're going. A lot of people say it's going down now. I don't see that happening. It's in your trends journal. Stocks are set to jump Friday after four tech giants posted strong earnings. NASDAQ futures are gaining 1%. You got a couple of stocks in the equity markets that are flying high. This thing's going down big. We are in the midst of an economic catastrophe like we've never seen in the history of the world, part one or part two. Oil, mixed. U.S. economy shrank in the second quarter by the fastest rate since the government began tracking of gross domestic product after World War II. Really, how serious this is? Eh, the markets were down 500 points today, maybe a little more, but they only closed down a little over 200. Down with about 200 and something. The equity markets have nothing to do with reality. We've been writing about it on and on and on. The facts are in your Trends Journal, and Gregory Manorino has been updating it in very, very smart ways with a lot of valuable information so that you could prepare for the future. Because here we go. You ready? This is how good it is. Hey, Visa. Oh, Visa. Yeah. Uh huh. Profits decline as volume drops. Yeah, the US, largest U.S. card network said payment volume fell 10%. Credit card payment volume dropped 20%. Boeing sets deeper cuts after big loss. Boeing Company on Wednesday outlined plans to slash more production and jobs. The U.S. plane maker lost $2.4 billion in the second quarter, on and on and on. Oh, coin shortage in pandemic revives hopes to end penny. Yeah. So they're talking about getting rid of the penny. So other countries have done it. Getting rid of the cheap change. But it's a bigger story than this. We're going digital. From dirty cash, you don't want to touch that stuff. Oh, touching credit cards, by the way, as we've written in the Trends Journals, the facts show. It's much filthier to handle those things than cash. But we're going from dirty cash to digital trash. Fed pledges stimulus as outlook dims. Quote, the path of the economy is going to deepen to a very high extent on the course of the virus, on the measures that we take to keep it in check, said Jerome Powell yesterday. We can't say it enough. On and on. Virus light touch gives Swedish business a lift. Huh. Options vary on extent to which bumper set of numbers is down to the country's public health exceptionalism, whatever that means. What we're saying here is Sweden didn't lock down. The death rates in places like France and Spain and Italy are way worse than Sweden. Oh, yeah, but the other Nordic countries did better. Yes, yeah, so what? Hey, 
They locked down Michigan. Yeah, about 10 million people, same as uh, Sweden. They only have about 1,500 more deaths than the Swedes do. And they're locked down. Hey, how about that place called Belgium? Oh, they got a lot more deaths than Sweden, and they only have a million more people. Again, they keep bashing Sweden, but the facts show they didn't lock down, and their economy is not going down. The people aren't in misery like they are in so many other countries. Ah, Starbucks posts its worst loss in years. Hmm. Ah, sales only uh, plunged 40%. People go to that place and play important on their computers and drink that <laughs> coffee. Bitter as bitter can be. Hey, think for yourself. Oh, we're going to have more drive-ins. This drive-in stuff isn't going to pick up for lost business. Ah, closures cost also dent McDonald's profit, the closures and the costs that they're doing to keep the places open. Let's see. The burger giant said global same store sales fell only 24%. Hey, but that stock market keeps going up. All right. Pandemic lockdowns, clip sales at Gucci. From McDonald's to Gucci, you got it. Let's see what they say over here. Hey, Gucci's revenue fell only 34%. And how about that LVMH? Profits slide as closing luxury stores increases. Revenue fell 20%. Profits fell 84%. Nissan annual loss forecast to surpass $6 billion. And the market's going up. The market's going up. They're pumping in more cheap money. The whole thing is rigged. L Brands to lay off hundreds. L Brands said it plans to lay off about 850 corporate employees or about 15% of its staff. On and on, they're going to be closing 250 Victoria's Secret stores in 2020. Harley sales decline. No kidding. No, how long have we been talking about this? Harley Davidson is a my generation motorcycle, out of style, out of date, another time gone by. But let's see what they did over here. Hmm. Sales only fell 27%. IMF grants $4.3 billion COVID loan to South Africa. And here's how they write it. Here's how they sell fear and hysteria. South Africa is battling the biggest coronavirus outbreak in Africa. Oh, in South Africa, everything was going great there before this happened. Everybody was so happy. They were taken to the streets in protest. South Africa, Lebanon, Algeria, Chile, Bolivia, Colombia, Peru, Hong Kong. Don't hear about that one anymore. The government uses India. Massive protest. It was one of our top trends of 2020. Ready to explode. And they use the coronavirus to close down everything. The dictators. So, Africa, battling the coronavirus. So, let's see, how many people live in Africa? Huh, about 58 million. How many died? 7,000. 7,000 out of 58 million. The poverty, I've been to South Africa. And you're telling me 7,000 people and you're locking down the joint? And now they're borrowing money as this thing was going down the crap of before? And they're not going to be able to pay it back? That's how they sell the fear and hysteria. That shows you perfectly. Oh, 7,000? 
But we love Andy Cuomo. We're low-life, slimy prostitutes. We are little liberals. We love Andy Cuomo. We bend down and take it. Hey, how many people died in New York? Oh, he did a great job. Oh, we 32,500 out of a population of 19 million. 58 million in South Africa. 7,000 deaths. Calm down, Salenti. Calm down. We are low-life scum. And we love who we love because we're cowards and we follow their orders like little low-lives that we are. The little commie liberals, they're not liberals. They're a, between Bolshevik and fascist. How come nobody's calling them out? I'll tell you why. That's why you subscribe to the Trends Journal. Remember, do what you can. Tell all your friends. Subscribe to the Trends Journal. Keep truth alive. We put everything we have into doing this. And we need your help to make it bigger and not better because we always make it the best we can. Fewer workers returning to their office. They estimate in New York, New York, New York, New York is dark and dead. They're looking about 10% of the people return to their offices. 10%. You got it? Virus is crushing shops that lasted generations in New York, New York. The little people are getting crushed everywhere. And who started this? You know who started this. I said who started it. When the virus first hit the USA, where did it hit? Washington State. Who did it take out? Kirkland, Washington. Nursing homes. Elderly, chronically ill people. And those little geeksters. Those little slimy freaksters. Oh, you like that Zucker, yeah. Well, Zuckerberg. Zucker, Zuckerberg, Greenberg, Iceberg. What's the difference? Put an F and S, put any number letter you want in front of them. Google, Alphabet. They Google. Yeah. They were the first to close down along with Facebook, Twitter, Apple. All these little geeksters. The numbers are dead in Silicon Valley are low and nothing. Nothing. And now, Google announces, as you well know, they're going to work remotely until next summer. Commercial real estate in the turret, going down big time all over America and other countries. Expo for electronic gadgets will go all virtual in 2021. This is that big electronics show. More than 171,000 people from 164 nations go to this thing. Do you realize what it's doing? All the conventions, all the trade shows, gone. Gone. Don't forget to wear your mask. Stay six feet apart. Oh, no, we don't have to stay six feet apart. We're in Germany. We only have to stay one and a half meters apart. They're making this crap up. Oh, no, no, no. The wind stops blowing in Germany at 1.5 meters, and in America it stops blowing at 3 meters. They're destroying life. Ah, speaking of which, vaccine volunteers give first doses. They keep showing this woman, it's all tattooed with the blue hair and the mask on, and looking. What do you mean, volunteers? Oh, yeah, shoot me up. Shoot me up for free. I don't care what it does to me. 30,000 people to get shot up as a volunteer? You're getting paid to do this? I, every article I read, I can't find one piece that they say they're getting paid. Huh, let's see. More propaganda. And despite safeguards, a misleading video goes viral. We hope from Trump. This is that uh, thing they did in Washington. The America's frontline doctors. And they go on to say how what they said, and this is the language the Times uses, the claims 
have been repeatedly disputed by medical establishment. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, the medical establishment said so, so I gotta believe them. Yeah, the drug dealers, medical establishment. Oh, the first book I worked on was called Natural Healing. How dare you, Salenti? You have an honorary doctorate from the National University of Health Sciences? Why don't you believe in the medical establishment? That's the way they write it. If you don't believe the crap they shove down your throat, they censor you. You ready? This doesn't make the American news, oddly. Matter of fact, it came from France. No country for face masks. Nordics, Nordics brush off mouth covers. As most of the world either orders or recommends the use of face masks, Nordic nations are remaining holdouts. In supermarkets, on buses, and along the streets of capitals such as Stockholm, Copenhagen, Oslo, Helsinki, face masks are a rare sight. YouGov poll found only 5 to 10% in the Nordic countries said they use masks. At the same time, the corresponding figures have risen between 70 to 80 percent for most other countries, 20 that they polled. Why the Nordics, don't they know? Read your facts. These things are deadly. It's not natural to wear them. Oh no, you're a conspiracy theorist. Yeah, must believe you must like uh, Zuckerberg. Nah, nah, I know that cook guy. He's the one for you. Mask fatigue. Some North Texas workers claim headaches, shortness of breath, and anxiety. Quote, when I have a long day, I'm sick when I get home, said Courtney Warnell after working 12 hours. Sick to my stomach. As soon as I get in the car, I'm pulling it off, and I don't want to do anything else. I just want to go home and be mask free. I say put her in jail. Welcome, she doesn't obey the medical authorities. Ah, effectiveness unproven. Dutch government won't use mask mandate. <clears throat> How dare they say that? The Minister of Medical Care said that, quote, because from a medical perspective, there is no proven effectiveness of masks, said the cabinet minister. And they decided that there'll be no national obligation for wearing non-medical masks, end quote. Why, you're saying fraudulent Fauci is a disgusting little piece of garbage crap liar like all the rest? States save thousands of lives by closing schools in spring, study says. And then you read the study, and the study proves nothing. Because here you go. Wall Street Journal, not a conspiracy theory. Are you ready? They go on to say, COVID-19, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, you ready? Three times as many children died of the flu between February and July than died of COVID-19. Don't put them back to school. They did in Sweden. Don't have a big death rate, do you, have kids down? Other places are open up around the world, but we're not going to do it because we are the cowards of America. We love Cuomo. We salute gruesome. Bow down to Whitmere. How about Abbott and Costello over there in Texas? One little freak after another, and the people march to the orders. And then, finally, we have over here... Next to finally, two teens among seven dead in 15 shootings on Sunday in New York, New York. Violent crime is escalating off the charts. Through July 26, the city has recorded 745 shootings. 745 shootings. Only an increase of 73% from last year. When people lose everything and have nothing left to lose, they lose it and they're losing it. Think of it. They talk about how many cases 
of COVID, but they don't talk about what the survival rate is. About 99.5% from all the things that I've read on average. Some say 99.9%. And then finally, the big news breaking all over the prostitute media, great white shark kills woman in rare main attack. What do I got to know this for? You know, sharks bite. Ever since Jaws came out, and when you go in the water, it should be perfectly safe. Then you read this dumb article by Johnny Diaz. You got nothing else to do? You play these clowns to write this kind of crap? Attack files had linked only one recorded, unprovoked shark attack in Maine since 1837. That's the stupidity that they put out there. And that's why you subscribe to the Trends Journal. What's going on, what it means, and what's next. And what's next is, whew, stay tuned. This is Gerald Salenti. And that's some of today's trends in the news. The COVID-19 war has changed the world, but who's prepared? What's next? It's in your Trends Journal. Trends Journal subscribers are prepared. Subscribe to the Trends Journal. Read history before it happens from the world leader in trend forecasting.